Oh, how's it going? I'm Dr. E, and uh, I was setting up the Rainbow Connection demo that uh, you saw in class, and I thought, hey, this deserves a little more explanation, so I wanted to tell you how I did it. So, uh, you saw all these beakers here, and initially, this was really an acid-base equilibrium uh, because of all the corrosives. I was just trying to be as safe as possible with them, and thus I have all my PPE on. Uh, and what you saw, what you thought initially were totally empty beakers were actually had drops of color indicators in them before I even started. And so we have all these indicators that go from colorless to one of the, uh, in this case, six colors of the rainbow. And I put about three or so drops in each of them before we started class. So coming into class, I actually had drops in each of these beakers. Then what you saw me do is pick up the 0.01 molar HCl. And what I did is I poured it in each of these up to about 50 milliliters. And the cool thing about that is all these are colorless in acid. So they were still colorless at that point. Then what you saw me do is pick up the 0.01 molar sodium hydroxide. Well, once I poured that in, the first try, I was just messing around, or trying to, and I poured maybe about 50 milliliters in each. And there was no color change, nothing happened. Uh, because I did not add enough acid to neutralize the base. Well, what I did after that is I just poured uh, now a total maybe of 100 mils of base in there. That was enough to shift the equilibrium so that now the solutions are basic, neutralize all the acid, and thus, there we go, then they were, uh, had all the colors. Then what I did uh, is I poured the 0.01 molar acid back in there. Okay, so I put that back in there, uh, shifted it back over to the acid side. Because it was on the acid side, they all went colorless again. Then what I did, I have this dropper, let's see where it is, oh, right here. This is three molar sodium hydroxide. And so what I did, since it's such a high molarity compared to the 0.01 molars from before, I put about four to five drops in each. And you might have seen a color change if you're close enough. But in case you didn't, and because the full color change didn't come, I just got a little glass stirring bar, stirred them up, and uh, that makes the solution got the color change to happen. So now it's basic again, but just by a couple drops, but since this is so concentrated, it allowed that to happen. Then, what you saw me do is I took this supposedly empty uh, 2,000 milliliter beaker, but what you didn't know is that in here, I had several drops of con HCl, so concentrated HCl. And because it's so concentrated, I only need a couple drops, we wouldn't have been able to see it. And then I had poured the colors in there, they shifted over to the acid side of the pH scale, and because they were acidic, then again, you didn't see any color then. And for fun, we put it to the rainbow connection. Uh, music from the Muppets just to make it extra exciting. But yeah, that's basically the demo. We're just going back and forth from colorless indicators to indicators that were colored on the basic side. And just depending on what we were pouring in at one point or another, forced it to go to colorless or forced it to have color. The hard part about the demo is keeping the volumes about right and adding the right number of drops of each thing so that when you see me do each part, uh, it uh, stays the right way. That's why I'm in our stock room right now doing a little practice, or I was doing some earlier, so that when you saw the demo, uh, it would go off at least as smoothly as I can make it. All right, so I hope you had fun. Take care, and I'll try to be bringing more demos to you as the quarter goes up.